you're a Kodi user or you're new to Kodi and want to try it, a newly updated version is available that includes several bug fixes. Now in this video, I'll show you how to install the latest stable version of Kodi, version 21.2 on your streaming device. Let's check it out. It's really important to protect your sensitive information while using the internet. The good news is that NordVPN can help keep your data safe and secure. Plus, Nord is more than just a VPN, with added benefits such as freeing you from any streaming restrictions. Don't miss out on the best VPN deal available right now. Check out the links provided in the description to get started and stay protected. The latest version of Kodi 21.2 has been released and is now the stable version. Now, while this update doesn't introduce any new features, it includes several bug fixes for various devices. Notably, there is a fix for the issue where resuming paused media playback wasn't working when pressing the play pause button on some Android devices. If you're interested in the complete list of bug fixes, you can visit the official Kodi website at kodi.tv. Now, since this version does not include any significant changes, you should be able to install this update directly over your existing version without any issues. If you're using an Android device, you can easily download Kodi from the Google Play Store. However, the updated stable version may not be available on official app stores yet. If it is unavailable on your app store, or if you want to install it on your Fire Stick, Fire Cube, or Fire TV, you can still install it by sideloading using the downloader app. Now, in this video, I'll show you how to install the latest version of Kodi using the Fire TV Stick second generation 4K Max. Don't worry if you're using a different device, the steps are generally the same. From the home screen, choose the Find option, then click on Search. Use your remote to start typing the word Downloader. As you select the letters, suggestions will appear below to save you from typing the whole word. Tap down and click on Downloader. Next, select the orange Downloader app and on the next screen, click the button to get or download the app. After installing, click Open and if prompted, allow Downloader access to your files. If you are using the Downloader app, you will need to give permission for Downloader to install apps. Go into your Fire Stick settings, My Fire TV, Developer Options, Install Unknown Apps, and click on Downloader to turn the permission on. If you have a newer Fire Stick or Fire TV where the Developer Options menu is hidden, when you get to the My Fire TV settings, select About. Next, tap the Select button on your remote seven times or until you see a message at the bottom of the screen that says, no need, you are already a developer. Once that message appears, press the Back button on your remote once and you'll now be able to see and access the Developer Options menu and allow Downloader to install unknown apps. Open Downloader and type in 28907, then click Go. Wait a few seconds for my Downloads page to load, then press the Menu button on your remote and press it again to enter full screen mode. Press the Options button again one more time and select Add Current Page to Favourites to save my downloads page to your favorites. That way you can always access it, even if you forget my code. Next, tap down the screen to view a list of categories. 
select the Media Players category, then scroll down the list until you find Kodi and select it. On the next screen, tap down to the Kodi Downloads section and select the correct download link for your device. I'm using my Fire Stick, so I'll choose the Fire TV version. Click Install to install or update the app. If you already have Kodi installed, updating it to the latest stable version won't impact any previously installed add-ons as long as you're not updating from Kodi 18. Once installed, click Done and then Delete and Delete again to delete the installation file as it's no longer required. You can now go into your app screen and open it. When you do, to ensure that Kodi works without any problems, you will need to allow Kodi to access media on your device, so make sure you click Allow when prompted. Kodi has been successfully installed on your device or updated to the latest version. However, remember that on its own, Kodi is just a media player and does not come with any pre-installed content. If you wish to enhance your Kodi experience by installing an add-on or even a build, then check out my website, firetvsticks.com. Select the Kodi option from the menu and take your streaming experience to the next level. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you really do make a big difference to me and help to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow. Don't forget that online privacy and security are more important now than ever before. And NordVPN is an excellent choice. I use it almost every day to help me unblock internet restrictions when streaming such as this. With NordVPN connected, I can watch the content I enjoy from anywhere. You can easily download and install NordVPN's user-friendly app on all your devices, including Firestick, by searching for it in your app store. With NordVPN, simply connect to any one of their servers to ensure that your online activities are unrestricted and protected from prying eyes and potential cyber threats. The Nord app has some very useful features for your Fire Stick, including threat protection to help keep your device safe from potential security threats by blocking access to malicious websites. Plus, AutoConnect makes connecting to a secure server a breeze by automatically connecting to a network without having to manually do it every time you want to use the internet. Split tunneling lets you choose which apps or websites use the VPN connection and which ones use your regular internet connection. These settings and features are essential for anyone who wants to have a secure and personalised online experience. Check out the links in the video description for the best deals and try it now completely risk-free for 30 days.